President Biden back on the campaign trail in battleground states as he tries to stem the hemorrhaging support from lawmakers in his own party. The president arrived in Delaware last night after his rally in Detroit. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has reportedly expressed private concerns as pressure mounts for the president to withdraw from the race. Some Democrats even took their concerns directly to the president. But Mr. Biden held firm despite his mixed performance at his solo press conference. A fiery President Biden soldiered on in must-win Michigan yesterday, where the cheering crowd threw him a lifeline. And he insisted he's staying at the top of the ballot to beat Donald Trump. Ed O'Keefe is traveling with the president and joins us now. Ed, good morning. Dana, great to see you. In recent days, the Biden campaign has made clear winning Michigan's 15 electoral votes is a must. The president's going to win re-election. So he came here to begin showing voters, despite what's arguably been the toughest two weeks of his political career, he still got what it takes and isn't going anywhere. President Biden trying to reunite Democrats behind him in Detroit and assure voters he's fit to run. I promise you, uh, I am, uh, I'm okay. But since his heavily scrutinized news conference Thursday night, more congressional Democrats have called for him to go. Some, like Connecticut Congressman Jim Himes, concerned the president can't handle national security. The debate with Donald Trump is a walk in the park compared to what happens at 4 a.m. in the White House. So this has nothing to do with one particular debate. House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries met privately with the president at the White House Thursday night, sharing members' concerns about Biden's electability, a source describing it as a very candid exchange about the path forward. In a bid to stop more defections, the president met virtually with several groups of House Democrats. Sources say in one meeting, California's Mike Levin told the president directly, it's time for someone else to lead. And some voters here in the key battleground state of Michigan, a must win for the president, say the same. We need a better Democratic candidate. I think anything would be better than Joe Biden in the Democratic Party. Big money donors are also concerned, with up to $90 million in pledge donations on hold to allied super PACs if the president stays in the race. Democratic Governor Jared Polis of Colorado says the Biden team needs a big reset. Look at messaging, look at strategy. Uh, of course, it's a legitimate discussion about the candidate, but how we're going to win to protect democracy is the key part. One way Biden is trying to turn the page? By raising concerns about Trump's ties to Project 2025. Launched by the Conservative Heritage Foundation, it includes a 900-page blueprint to overhaul the federal government if Trump wins again. On the agenda, shutting down the Education Department, dropping FDA approval of abortion pills, and a mass deportation of undocumented immigrants. This represents an outright attack on our children, our families, and our future. Trump has distanced himself from the plan, but dozens who worked for his administration are behind it, and he openly encouraged their work two years ago. They're going to lay the groundwork and detail plans for exactly what our movement will do. Now, CBS News has learned that when confronted by that California Congressman Mike Levin about getting out of the race, the president insists that he's not going anywhere once again and said he's going to go out, let people talk to him, touch him, feel him, and ask any questions they want. That's what they did here in Michigan last night. The voters seem to like what they saw. He's headed to Texas and Nevada next, just as Republicans gather in Wisconsin next week, Nancy, for their convention. Yes, indeed. Ed, thank you very much.